I wish I could like transport you guys into my head for just a moment to know what it is like to have anxiety. Evening, internet friends. How are we doing today? Um, eh, I'm doing all right. This is not deep conversations with Darth Vader time. This is, I have not vlogged all day, and there's a lot that I probably need to put on the vlog, and I don't want to hold the camera up for so long, so yeah. Sorry, eh, had a dry piece of skin on my nose. That was bothering me. Um, I've got... Riddler on the couch right there. He's sleepy. Got Emeril on the floor next to me eating on a rope. And then there's Sassy Girl. So, um, how the day has been today? I worked. Work was cut short. Because apparently when other brands come to do promo, like do demos of their products, you cannot have any other representatives there. So I got to leave work early. Um, work was a bit better today. I wasn't in as much pain, which was great. My anxiety wasn't as high, which was great. And I did sell a bag of dog treats, so woo! Oh, and check out one of my shirts. It's for the Divine Delights. Um, I don't really know what it's useful for. It's just a bunch of plastic cups, but you know, whatever. Um, then got home, I was exhausted. <laughs> So I took a nap and then I went with Tyler and mom. We went to Whole Foods. Oh, I'm sorry if I keep squinting at the camera, guys. I don't have my contacts out. Well, I don't have my contacts in, sorry. And I don't have my glasses on. So literally, like, you guys are looking really fuzzy to me. And like looking at myself through the screen, because I have one of those flip screen kind of things. Like, I can see the shape of my face and I can see the color. But right now my eyes look like two like black circles. I can barely make out where my nose is. And like because of the shadow right here, I can't even see my mouth. I just know it's moving. Hi Riddler. There's Riddler's paw. <laughs> so if I'm squinting at you guys, that's why I just can't see. Um but yeah, Whole Foods is a great adventure. I got to try their pizza and I had cheese cubes. <laughs> Best lunch ever, pizza and cheese cubes. But my, I think the stomach virus is finally gone because every, because I've not had any digestive upset all day. Yay! So I'm quite happy about that. I think everything's returned back to normal, which is great. Um, oh, what else happened today? Came home, looking up lesson plans for my first day with the preschool on Monday. And I'm so overwhelmed because I think part of me actually assumed that kindergartners could read. Apparently not all kindergartners can. I thought they could. But I've always worked with older kids, so. My mom, fun fact, used to work at a preschool a long time ago when I was little. So I'm going to have her help me. <laughs> but I guess anxiety is acting up. Worried about having the time to do that because I work from 11 to 3 tomorrow. And... I know there's still plenty of time, but I'm like, there's not enough time. And then, of course, there's worry about um, the first day of work on Monday with the preschool. Because I, again, kind of like this one, I'm just kind of being thrown out there. I don't even have any training or anything. At least with this job. Hi! Ow! You stepped on my toe! At least with this job, um, I did get prior training. Excuse you! <laughs> this is Riddler's beautiful body, just in case you were curious. Riddler, would you like to come up here? Or would you like to come around? <coughs> and you got some gas. It's gross. Dear gross. Ew. Um, but anyway, I have no idea what Monday will hold. I'm already worried because I couldn't get the shirts I need for work. Because the store that they come from is moving to a new location. So they're having to... So there's no stock in either store, and I'm just like, well, what do I do? 
And I haven't heard back from the director yet, and I'm like, well, crap. Um, so there's that. Got the vlog up. Yay. And I felt bad. I almost didn't vlog because for some reason, anxiety decided to be like, this is bad if you start vlogging. So, I don't know. For some reason, I was feeling super anxious about picking up the camera and actually talking to you guys. I don't know why. Just, it was just like, don't do it. I'm just like, why? I don't know. Just don't do it. That's how the wonderful world of anxiety works. You sometimes have, well, not sometimes, most of the time, we'll say about 70 to 80% of the time, you have no clue why you're anxious. Or maybe that's just me personally, but a lot of times you don't know why. And that's a common misconception people have about anxiety is thinking that, oh, you're always anxious about something. We don't know what that something always is. Sometimes we do. Right now, I know that my anxiety is work-related. Why picking at the camera is anxiety-inducing, I don't know. And then... Um, also now, I'm starting to get anxious about MRL. Again, as you guys know, I get anxious about him all the time. He's going through a fear period, which I know right now for his age is completely normal. It's considered like the second fear stage. First would have been around 8 to 10 weeks or so. And apparently second can last 6 up to 14 months. And he's 7 months. Um, it made me worry that, oh no, he's going to fall behind in training. Because he's acting scared of everything. But I asked people on Instagram and they said, you know, just be patient with him. And like, don't coddle him. Let him... Like, still socialize and still do what you normally do. Just, you know, don't overwhelm him. Which... Are you chewing on your foot? Stop chewing on your foot. Um... But yeah, hi, buddy! There's his fluffy butt. Why I call him fluff butt. <laughs> Enrael, would you move, please? Or do you want to snuggle with mommy? Are you going to grab the bacon? Okay, he's going to grab the loudest toy that he has. Which is his crinkle bacon. The squeakers don't work anymore. But anyway. So yeah, I've been worried about that. And then of course my brain's like, Raven, there's stuff you've yet to teach him. He has yet to understand heal very well. There's other alerts that I want him to learn that he has not started learning yet. Um, and sometimes he doesn't always get this. He has... Usually you have to be scratching something else. Or will I make it to where he can hear it? Emeril. Emeril. Can you pressure? Can you pressure, please? I'll see if he'll do it. I don't know if he will. Emeril. Hi. Emeril, can you pressure? Can you pressure? Can you at least put your head on my lap? Head? Yes, good boy. Thank you. Alright, paw. Yes. Head. Yes, good boy. Thank you. Okay, just trying to... Anxiety is acting up a little bit, so I'm trying to get him to do a little DPT with me. and He's got it. There he is. <laughs> Um, but yeah, all those lovely anxious worries, thinking that I don't have him ready. Even though I have to keep reminding myself, you know, he's just a baby. I might just take your time with him. But, uh, I don't know, just... My anxiety would work, and then of course anxiety will find other things to pile onto it. Which right now is... MRL. Um... I don't know, just, ugh, anxiety is annoying, and I wish for those of you who don't have anxiety or don't have mental illness that, I wish there was a way you could see what is going on in my head, or like some way that I could show it, because clearly it's an invisible illness, you can't, like, it's not like, I, it's not like smallpox or chickenpox where you could see bumps everywhere. No, that's not how that works. 
I know chicken pox isn't a chronic disease, but whatever, you know the point. I wish I could like transport you guys into my head for just a moment to know what it is like to have anxiety. But those of you who have anxiety, you know what it's like. So there you go. Thumbs up for you guys who understand. Um, there was actually an article from The Mighty I saw today, the guy describing what it's like to have depression. Um, and I guess I want to come up with a way to uh, come up with a way that's similar like that to describe what anxiety's like. So far, the only thing I can think of, probably because it's the only thing going through my head, is to have headphones on and just play static. Because that is what my brain is. A lot of times it's just staticky. It sounds like just very fuzzy feeling, very noisy, that kind of thing. I don't know. I'm probably rambling. I'm very good at rambling. Hi! Quit chewing on your feet! So, now with all this rambling, I'm going to sign off for the night and head off to bed. So, thank you guys so much for watching and, you know, putting up with this bullcrappery that is me. Um... I hope you guys have had a wonderful day or night, rain or shine, whatever the world has for you today. Question of the day is... For th Excuse you! Yes, you have a lovely butt. Can you move, please? Emerald! <laughs> You're such a doof! I love you. The question of the day, if you have anxiety, um, put in the comments below, like, maybe a couple of sentences or so, like, how you would describe what anxiety feels like to someone else. Like, if there was a way that they'd be like, hey, what can I do to know what anxiety feels like? So, my example was, of course, putting in the headphones and listening to static. But, if you know, if you have anxiety, describe how you would describe it to somebody. So, put your answers down below and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye! Good night, Licker McLickerson over there. Good night, Amarel. Mr. Bed Stealer. And good night, my sassy girl. <laughs>